I invite the president elect to come forward and receive his certificate. Meg Whitman's assertions that Kenya's 2022 general election was the freest, fairest, and most credible in Kenyan history has become the cause of political tremors. President William Ruto now coming to the defense of the diplomat who is at the face of an opposition led storm after Raila Odinga's demand that she shuts her mouth and stays off Kenyan matters. The American ambassador said two statements of facts. She said the last election was the freest and the fairest in the history of Kenya, which is a statement of fact. She said Kenya is open for business, which is also a statement of fact. I mean, surely. Let us, let us have <laughs> some decorum and respect um, ourselves as we demand respect from others. On Friday, Ruto met with Delaware Senator Christopher Andrew Kunz in State House in what is believed to be conversations centered on talks between Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio to quell the political situation in the country. Present at State House during the meeting was Ambassador Whitman. It is unclear whether Whitman's sentiments were also discussed, but from the body language, it is a rosy relationship between Ruto and Whitman. A relationship perhaps confirmed even by sentiments of the second in command miles away in Eldoret. As a private citizen, how would you recall an ambassador? You cannot even transfer an assistant chief in your local subcommittee. You know, it's part of the, the denial syndrome. Between the, the, the people who are orchestrating destruction of property and sabotaging our economy and those who are working with us to create investment opportunities and investment capital for the people of Kenya. Between those two, I was wondering who is actually rogue. I think it's for the people of Kenya to judge. And now concerns are rife that Whitman's sentiments and the push and pull it has borne may have an impact on the Kenya Kwanzaa Azimio talks. So when you are saying uh, or confirming that the past election was free and fair and it is an issue that one of you has come to help solve, then where does that leave even the person who was sent, the right. senator who came to Kenya? Both Raiela and Wig Whitman were right. But they're speaking to different audience. Wig Whitman is speaking to corporate America and is saying Kenya and Africa is open for business. Come and invest. It is safe. Uh, there were questions about election and all that, but it was democratically concluded. Raila is speaking to 50% of electorate who did not vote for Ruto. The opposition is already sounding its displeasure. Let her allow us to dialogue as Kenyans, to resolve our issues as Kenyans. Let her not be a cheerleader for UDA and William Ruto. She, she must remain neutral. America, through their senator for Delaware, Chris Coons, has been instrumental in pushing for a truce between the two sides. And being its ambassador, those supporting the opposition see Whitman's statement as a potential jeopardy to those very talks. I repeated that Whig Whitman is not a typical politician. He's not a typical diplomat. You see, we diplomats were trained that we are trained to carefully craft our words. Because the word, once, once you let it go, uh, is not coming back. Okay? So the question is, then you have to manage it. You know, what was said. I think what Whitman needed to say is that the, 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 the Supreme Court of the land has already made its own pronouncement. But being sensitive that there is a process going on right now to bring the country and never go it into that, uh, that kind of communication. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.